Caught on camera, a man dressed as a security guard casually walks into a store and robs a man at gunpoint. NBC6's Kim Wynn is live in Lauderdale Lakes where it all happened. Kim? Yeah, that's right. And the owner of the store happened to be the victim in this robbery. Uh, he did not want to go on camera. He didn't want to do an interview, but he says that they have made several security changes since this has happened, including signs like this one on the front window. From raising the display cases a few feet higher to signs like these out front that read no mask, no guns allowed. Security is beefed up within the last few weeks after BSO says the man seen in this surveillance video, ironically wearing a security guard uniform, robbed a cell phone store at gunpoint. It's a clever way for a person like this to commit his crime and clearly in this instance he achieved it. Investigators say it happened July 22nd just before noon at this mobile one store in Lauderdale Lakes. Surveillance video shows the suspect getting out of a blue car, then walking into the business. Investigators say the suspect first tried to sell his phone to the owner, then said he wanted to buy a new phone. A few moments later, the victim opens the door to the phone display, and the suspect pulls out a gun and points it at the victim, then gives him a gray bag and demands that he puts phones in it. The victim complies, and within seconds, the suspect runs to his car and drives off. <laughs> just thinking about it, I've just... You know, shaking in my boots, like, just, I would not never honestly want to be in a situation like that. Amber Jones works at a restaurant a few doors down. When I heard about it, I was very shocked because nothing like that has ever happened. And overall, like, I know I would have been scared, you know, dealing with something like that. And investigators say that the suspect got away with about $7,000 worth of phones. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. For now, we're live in Lauderdale Lakes. Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.